Battling coronavirus locally has been a community wide effort and over the last year leaders in innovation have emerged, including UC San Diego. Our Misha De Bono is on campus tonight with the role that the university played in responding to and recovering from the pandemic. From safety on campus to vending machine testing to apps that notify you of your exposure and even identifying outbreaks before they happen, UCSD has been invaluable in the fight against coronavirus. As we look back over the year during the pandemic, we've seen leaders emerge in the community that forged new paths and offered great contributions during the battle against coronavirus. The whole approach to this has been to try to follow the science. One of those leaders is the University of California at San Diego. From the beginning, UCSD was a problem solver and innovator. Robert Schooley is a distinguished professor of medicine and infectious diseases at UCSD. We also knew that this was not going to be a short spurt and over uh, by April, as we were hearing from some, and uh, felt that it was important to think about how we would operate in the presence of the virus rather than waiting for it to end. With hundreds of international students and teachers, they knew they couldn't shut down. Testing had to be robust and consistent. Their plan, Return to Learn, was in some ways more strict than the CDC and state guidelines. We try to figure out how often the testing would need to happen for each individual on campus to be able to pick up a cluster of cases before it expanded in a way that we saw at other campuses. And Dr. Natasha Martin, our mathematical modeler, did some very elegant modeling that looked at how rapidly the virus would spread in a population like this and came up with the need to test everybody at least every two weeks. That's how they set up their initial plan. And by summer, it was fully ramped up. While the rest of the county saw cases surge, UCSD kept their positivity rate below 1%. This ultimately led to a partnership with San Diego Unified School District to guide its reopening plan, which starts in April. A solid step forward. But that was not enough. They soon realized if they were going to ask students and staff to be a part of the solution, they needed to make testing easy and accessible. And what could be easier than vending machines? We were one of the first to uh, take the testing to the students and to the faculty, as opposed to having the faculty and students have to come to the hospital. We knew that would never work. But once we made it easy, they'd be all over it. It's turned out to be they were, they were terrific. With it. Seeing their success as a living experiment in real time, the state tapped UCSD to test out an exposure notification system. It's an app on your smartphone that would eventually be rolled out statewide. It's now automatically on every phone. They've published a lot of papers about the elimination of polio. Based on that, Professor Schooley and a group of PhD students came up with the same hypothesis based on studies from the polio epidemic, focusing on wastewater monitoring to identify where and when an outbreak of coronavirus might occur. They very quickly validated the uh, ability to pick it up in sewage water from buildings by looking at sewage water from our hospital because we knew we had COVID patients there. Today, they monitor the sewage of every dorm and building on campus and have the notification and testing apparatus to stop any outbreak before it spreads. Now they're using that same monitoring system to identify where new variant strains may show up next. I think it's really what universities, American universities should be doing. Doing. I mean, we're supposed to innovate. We're supposed to develop knowledge that helps us inform public policy. And uh, I think that's what we've done here. They certainly have. So what's next? Opening up athletic fields, but always keeping an eye on the virus, ready to pull back if they need to. From UCSD, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News.